Come along, folks. We'll take a cruise across the Seven Mile Bridge. We're heading north to Marathon. This little cruise will take about uh, seven and a half minutes. Cloudy day today. We got a cold front moved in. It's only 74 degrees out. We're practically freezing to death. Got the old seven mile next to us. There's evidence of a backseat driver in here. Front seat. Mile marker 41. Definitely got some tourists up here because we're down to 50 miles an hour and the speed limit's 55. One time we were driving down this bridge and an oncoming car flipped it. He was gawking, ran up on the side rail and came to a stop skidding on his hood. Only it was a convertible. <laughs> he had blood shooting out a wound in his forehead, too. We called 911 for him. Yep, he kept going. No, he did not. We asked him if they were all right. Then we went. There's mile 42. We're on our way to one of my favorite places to eat. We're going up to Keys Fisheries to get some $2 crab claws, a shrimp cocktail, and some spinach dip. That was the Atlantic Ocean. This is a unique place because the Atlantic is on the right, the Gulf is on the left. This is the old Seven Mile Bridge across from us. A couple boats fishing there, not too many. That's big enough to get your Model T or your Model A down over there. Yeah, they say when two semis used to go past, they'd hit their mirrors a lot. And to fold their mirrors in before they took off on that road. Used to be a swing bridge on the old seven mile bridge. Now it's got, a, I wanna say it's a 60 foot peak, but it might be 80 foot. That's the hump that we're coming up to. That's the channel between the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean, where this hill is. It might be 80 feet. I have to look it up. I don't have any boat that tall, so I don't usually worry about it. This is called Moser Channel. A little bit further down the road, there's a place on the left called Pigeon Key. And that was the base camp when they were building the Seven Mile Bridge. You can see it up there with the trees on the left-hand side. We're at mile 44. You can see Marathon in the distance. There, this here is Pigeon Key. 
that was the base camp for building the Seven Mile Bridge. Right now it's kind of a museum. You have to pay to go down there and visit it. You can actually walk or ride your bikes on the old Seven Mile Bridge out to this point for free. That does not cost anything. But in order to go down this bridge into Pigeon Key, I want to say it was 10 or 12 bucks. I've never personally been down there for that reason. Just didn't think it was worth it. We got an advertisement there. PigeonKey.net you probably see it better on the net than you could walking all the way out there. And it is a long walk. I've never walked it, but I've ridden my bicycle out there. Kind of a fun thing to do. How many minutes we up to in the upper right-hand corner of that thing? Can you tell? Six minutes, that's not too bad then. Almost to the end of the Seven Mile Bridge. I come up here about once a year in my boat. Haven't been up here yet this year. Probably going to skip it. Oh, I take that back. I was up here in August. say there's some really good fishing up here. I never really stopped, but every one of them concrete pilings is like its own little ecosystem. Mile 46. and Seven Mile Bridge will cook your catch if you want to pull up there with some fish or lobsters or whatever you got as long as it's legal they'll cook it for you and supply your salad or whatever for about 20 bucks a plate somewhere thereabouts this is a bit of a speed trap at times because it drops down to 35 miles an hour real quick here Sunset Grill and Raw Bar, it's called. Pigeon Key Historic District, Florida Heritage. Well, we're to Marathon. Get you from the Pigeon Key Visitor Center over there. That will be the end of our seven-mile bridge tour. Hope you enjoy.